Okay, so in the last one, we made some changes to our Firebase queries, made them more efficient, and uh, we're able to check to see if the username was unique, and if it wasn't, then we didn't allow them to change it. If it was, then we, then we would allow them to change it. Um, now we're gonna work on uh, changing the email, and that's gonna be a lot trickier, because uh, if you remember, we actually register with an email, so that's in the Firebase authentication system, so it's much more difficult to change that email. There's actually going to be quite a long process. You need to do a few things. You need to first confirm authentication again, so you need to re-authenticate the user. Then you need to fetch the email to see if it's registered in the authentication database. And then you need to change the email if it's not already present in the authentication database. So there's going to be um, a few videos to get this done. And um, so the first, the first sort of step is, oh, I want to change these comments first. So um, the user made a change to their username and then here we have the user made a change to their email and we'll change this to an if so if uh, not m user settings get user oops uh, get email equals email so that's when we're going to do this so yeah the, so the first step as I just outlined <clears throat> I'll, I guess I'll, I'll type out the steps here. So, step one is re authenticate because with Firebase, it doesn't let you um, change the email address that was registered until, unless you recently authenticated. So, we, number, step one is re authenticate. Step two would be to uh, check if the email already is registered. And then step three, um, that would be actually change the email. So submit the change. So the with reauthentication, you we need to confirm the password and email. So basically, we need we ask the user to type in their password and then they try to log in again. With uh, step two here. Um, Use a, we use a Firebase method, uh, what's it called? We use a Firebase method called fetch providers for email. And what that will do is basically check the email that you submit to it. Um, and it, it takes an email parameter here, so like string email. And it will check the, the authentication database to see if that email is available. So if we get that far, then finally we submit the new email to the database and authentication. So that is going to be our, our process here. So uh, the first, the very first part of this process is cap basically we need to capture their password. We need what I'm going to use is a dialog box. It's going to pop up and it's going to say, okay, you want to change your email. I'm going to need you to type in your password here so that we can re-authenticate before we do anything. So that's what we're going to get started on. We're going to go to create a new layout file and I'm going to call it uh, dialog confirm password and for once we're actually going to keep this linear layout I don't usually use linear layouts and uh, do wrap content and wrap content for the first text view and we're going to put some text in here just saying confirm password and we'll give it a text size of maybe 21 SP and text style of bold and text color uh, black we got in there sure ID will be dialog title and that'll be oh text size 21 yeah I mean that should be okay that looks kind of small for some reason but okay and now I'm going to copy actually the next one's going to be an edit text so I'm not going to copy that this is going to be the pa the field where we actually capture the password we do match parent for the width and wrap content for the height and so the hint here I'm going to say password and we'll give it an ID of confirm password and we'll put input type of password so that it's hidden, whoops. And we'll do text size of 20 SP and that should be good there. Well, I know why this looks funny because I have a width that occupies the whole thing. Let's just do 250 DP and for the height, let's do wrap content and then let's put some padding of 10 DP. That'll kind of bring everything into the center because obviously we don't want this dialog box to take up the entire window. Uh, we can maybe make it a little bigger, maybe 350 dp, but it doesn't need to be huge. We just need to capture 
uh, the password. Now let's do a relative, or yeah, relative layout and do wrap content, wrap content. And inside here, we just need two text views and one's gonna be to close the dialog box, in other words, to cancel, and the other one is going to be to confirm that you've actually entered uh, your password. So text size, let's do 15 SP, and text color, we can just do black, but you can use whatever color you like here. I'm going with pretty plain designs here. Uh, do a line parent right, true, margin top, maybe 30 DP, margin bottom of 10 DP, and margin right of 10 DP. And we need to actually put some text in here, so it's gonna say cancel. And the ID is gonna be uh, dialog cancel. Okay, that looks all right. Now let's copy that text view. And we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna do confirm, dialog confirm. And this is not gonna be aligned to parent right, the one on the left side. And I believe everything else should be pretty much the same. Okay, so there, that's what our little dialogue is gonna look like. Uh, now we need to create the fragment class that's gonna inflate this dialogue. So let's go up to, actually we'll, we'll make it a utility because it's, maybe we'll do a dialogue. Right, so I'm gonna create a new package, go new package, and I'm just gonna call it uh, dialogues. And inside dialogues, I will make that class. So confirm password dialog and we're going to extend um, dialog fragment and do control O to insert override methods and we need to get on create view and let's get the view inflator inflate the resource is the layout file we just made so dialog confirm password pass container oops container and false and then return that view Okay, um, give me a log here, say started. And I guess that means I need a tag too. Okay, so now in edit profile fragment, uh, so our first step we need to actually uh, create, create that dialog. So let's give some space here and I'm gonna go confirm password dialog, dialog equals new, confirm password dialog. And we don't need to pass it anything. I just need to go dialog dot show, get fragment manager and this is where I pass the name, I believe. So we, this, yeah, so this is where we pass the name of the fragment we're navigating to. It's called confirm password dialog. So let's actually create that string. We'll go into our strings file and we got our fragment names somewhere up here. Actually, you know what? I could call it dialog names. Let's keep it separate. Let's go dialog names. We'll copy that, put that here. And we'll do um, confirm password dialog confirm password dialog and we can close that and we can do get string r dot string dot confirm password dialog and that should be good so let's just um, check to make sure this is working so what I'll do is make a change to the email and then I'll press save and oh we don't actually need this either we can get rid of this reference we don't need this database reference thing here anymore. We can get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of all that, because we're checking it um, through the query, so that's fine. I'm gonna tab all that stuff in. That looks much better. And so yeah, so I'll, I'll run the app and I'll make a change to the email. I'll click it and we should get this dialog uh, popping up. Okay, so we're in the app. Let's head over to the profile and go to edit your profile and let's close the keyboard and go down to where the email is. Go down to where the email is. I'm just gonna click, and I'm just gonna delete one of the C's. That way I have made a change to it so it should trigger this. I'll click save, and there we go. So we get our confirm password dialog popping up. And we can see that I can type in a password. None of these buttons do anything yet, but everything is actually working, so that's good. So this is a good place to stop. Um, I know my last video was way too long, so I'm gonna try and keep these shorter to around 10 minutes or eight minutes or so. And in the next one, we will continue with our process here and changing the email. So I'll see you guys in the next video.